The hotel room was 1600 renminbi a night. And then he just said, I'm just going to pay for the whole trip to Northern Europe. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I'm here alone because my friends are so busy, you know, traveling all around the world. So I hope it's okay that you're gonna, just gonna hang out with me today. Remember, if you have any questions for this kind of relationships, AMWF, Asian male, Western female relationships, feel free to send me a message on social media, Lena around Facebook or Instagram, or send me an email on info at lenaaround.com. Yes. In this video, we are going to talk about who should pay for what when you're dating in China or dating a Chinese guy. I have come up with this idea because I have been working last night in this city. This is not Beijing. I'm in Yenan right now. I've been working with a Chinese girlfriend yeah, so the idea came from her because she just got a new boyfriend and he's apparently very rich and they met in November online on a Chinese Tinder. I know, it's very like big city life. <laughs> Usually Chinese girls are like, ooh, why are you using like online methods? Tinder, Tinder Chinese Tinder is like a a uh, kind of app. I hope you got that reference. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, she met her guy there and they have been dating for like approximately two months and they already planned a trip to Northern Europe to see the light up there, the Northern Light. And I was like, oh wow, okay, that's very expensive. I know that she loves to travel and he loves to travel. Well, she told me that he loves to travel. I know that she's traveling all around the world all the time. So I'm not surprised. I'm just surprised that after two months, they already decided to go on like a two week vacation together. Furthermore, she told me that this guy, he is going to pay for the whole thing. And she does not feel so, you know, comfortable about that. Usually, okay, I'm stereotyping right now and generalizing, I hope that's okay. But usually what I experience here in China is that the Chinese girls expect the guys to pay everything. That's also the experience I've had with Chinese guys that even without asking or saying anything, they will pay for the food if we go out for dinner, they will pay for the movies if we go for the movies, or they'll pay for the hotel if we go and stay at a hotel. Because uh, the last few years I've been dating guys who were also in universities, at university still, so we sometimes need a place to stay, you know, if we don't want to be, we cannot stay together in the dorms because the dorms are closed off, there are security everywhere, cameras and security guards and aunties who are very curious all the time, and you actually even a lot of Chinese dorms, foreigners cannot even walk in there, and the males, you cannot walk into the male dorm, there's just a lot of like security all the time. So yeah, if we're going to a hotel, they'll also pay for that. Usually I'm like, okay, you pay for this, then I'll pay for that, you know, or if it's not too expensive, I'm kind of like, okay, it's okay. Like I've, I've gotten used to it, right? But then this girl, she told me that when they're going to Northern Europe, you guys know that Scandinavia is quite expensive, right? They're gonna go to Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. It's literally the most expensive place you could choose to go with your new uh, boyfriend. <laughs> And she told me that every single night, hotel room for a night is 1600 RMB, right? So in total, 10 days, that's a lot, guys. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of money. So she was like, he says he's just gonna pay everything, but like, should I tell him that I could pay something or should I, you know, pay something else? Like he could pay that and then I'll pay something else or should I just like, what to do? And it was quite funny that she was asking me this question because I was thinking, oh, the Chinese girls are used to like always getting paid for it. Like, why is she so worried about it? But she's a very genuine girl. She is so nice. She comes from, you know, middle income family, middle class as well. So she is, and she's used to paying herself. And also when she was dating before with her like last boyfriend, they were also paying AA Drew like half half. So it makes sense why she's a little concerned, especially because 
it's a lot of money and it's a very new relationship as well, right? So what if they start fighting or what if they break up just before it happens, then he lost all the money, you know? I totally get why she's a little nervous. So when I talked to her about this, I totally thought, wow, I should make a video about this because I've been through some of these issues. And you know, I thought that you guys might want to know a little bit about it, that as well because I get some guests some of you guys have been through it as well or is gonna go through it if you're dating Chinese guys especially if it's like mainland Chinese I'm not sure about like Chinese from other places or Asian guys in general I'm not sure please let me know in the comments below by the way by the way I should remember to breathe <laughs> by the way please um, let me know how it is with like Korean guys Japanese guys it would be very interesting to hear if there is like a difference or what let me share a little bit about my experience my own experience so I've been traveling to Malaysia with a guy I was dating from Beijing in 2015 and he was like he was taught to always be the one to pay and at that time I was like no <laughs> I want to be independent I'm used to paying you cannot pay for me because he was also a student so I didn't want him to pay for both of us I was like you cannot afford that that would be so unfair right yeah so what we decided to do was that he could choose the hotels um, half of the time and I could choose the hotels the other half so if he wanted us to stay in nicer hotels he should pay for that and then I'll pay for the hotels that I thought we should stay in and it worked out really well that was a great way to do it I don't really remember in general when we were eating who would pay what but I guess it would be a little bit of a split like you know I would jump in front of him and pay or like pay when he didn't see it you know something like that but also some Chinese guys get really offended if you you know if you pay for them so I would say definitely if you're going on a first date or second date or if it's a very new relationship and he's very keen on paying then just go with it and then afterwards you know when you guys are closer you know and you know each other a little bit better then you can start putting your foot down and be like I want to pay too you know <laughs> So that's just a little advice here from Ling Ling, like it's definitely going to happen if you're dating a mainland Chinese guy. It's a little funny though because recently I've met one Chinese guy who was the total opposite, who actually let me pay the first time and I was like, whoa, what's going on here, you know, this is kind of interesting, it's very different. But I gotta say, even though he's not like the traditional Chinese type, it's kind of, it's nice, like it's a bit of, you know, fresh air. It's, uh, it's very nice, because it's like, we just do AA now, which works really well. So I told him if we're gonna go out and like go to hotels and meet up here and there and there, we need to have some kind of like deal, you know, and I like deal, but like, you know, I pay, you pay, I pay, you pay, because we're both students, you know. So, but I also get it because he makes less money than me, so if I pay a little bit more, that's fine too, you know, I'm grown up, it's okay. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's, it's a very interesting, it's a very interesting topic because I do hear a lot of my Chinese girlfriends, they really just let the gay guy, the gay, <laughs> the guy pay pay everything so I don't know I really like to know your opinion about this have you experienced this where you just went on a date and the guy was like I'm gonna pay for this and it's like a thousand Remy B and you're like what no you cannot pay for this you cannot pay for like did you guys like start fighting because of it or did you just go with it how do you deal with these kind of things I would love to, <laughs> to know that <laughs> and also maybe um, some of the Chinese guys or Asian guys could tell me a little bit about their experience with this kind of thing would you just pay on the first date or would you pay every single time and for how long because I remember another time with this Beijing guy in 15 we talked about if we would buy a place together because you know Chinese are taught the guys are taught that they have to buy a place before they can get married right and he was like yeah then I'll buy an apartment and I was like and then me what should I pay for you know <laughs> like you buy an apartment and then me what should I do and he was like you can buy the food and I was like dude that's that's not cool you know I I want to own my own house I want to make sure that if we fight you cannot say woman it's not your house get out of here you know I want to be on the contract as well, I want to pay half of it so I can say this is my place too and you cannot throw me out, you little mmm. <laughs> Anyways, that's just my thoughts on this, you know, from dating until like when it's getting really serious. Like, how would you deal with the different stages and if you have done it, 
how have you done it <laughs> if if that makes sense thank you for watching this little video from Ling Ling I hope next time that I'll have one of my friends here with me again I miss them I'm going to party with them tomorrow so I'm very excited for that yay okay well have a nice day evening wherever you are in the world and remember give me a thumbs up subscribe for my videos from Ling Ling and I'll see you again very very soon Ling Ling Sao see ya and Sai Jian bye bye